everyone, my name is Victoria and I'm the social media contributor at CORE and welcome back to our exploration of Web3 in CORE Academy. Today we are going to learn all about non-fungible tokens that are NFTs, how they work, how they can be utilized and much more. So let's get into it. To start, let's figure out what NFTs are. Fungibility refers to a property wherein one unit can be substituted for another. Dollars, for example, are fungible. Under most circumstances, you don't care whether you have a $5 bill or another, and the same thing is true for cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum. NFTs, by contrast, are unique digital assets that represents ownership of a piece of content, and they are not interchangeable in the way dollars or most cryptocurrencies are. NFTs are are often used as collectibles, but may also represent uh, real-world items like artwork or real estate. So now that we know what NFTs are, let's look at the key characteristics that set NFTs apart. Each NFT is a unique and cannot be replaced. This uniqueness is achieved through a combination of technology and design. Each token has a distinctive identifier, properties defined by smart contracts, associated metadata, and immutable history. So this feature makes NFTs ideal for representing one-of-a-kind digital assets. Most NFTs cannot be divided into smaller units. This means that each NFT represents a singular item that cannot be divided into smaller units in the way cryptocurrencies can be. NFTs can create digital scarcity, similar to rare physical items by limiting the number of tokens representing a particular asset. There are many different NFT types that can be leveraged for different purposes. We'll look at the most notable ones, ERC721 and ERC1155, both built on the Ethereum network. ERC721 is one of the earliest and most widely adopted standards for Ethereum-based NFTs. Each ERC721 token is unique and they are often used to represent ownership of collectibles, digital art and other unique digital assets. ERC721 tokens have a token ID that distinguishes one token from another. ERC1155 is a more versatile standard that allows for the creation of both fungible and non-fungible tokens within the same smart contract. This standard is used for multi-token contracts, making it efficient for creating various types of assets, including NFTs and semi-fungible tokens, which are SFTs. Other networks oftentimes have variation of this on their own unique standards. So now let's look at some use cases that leverage the unique nature of NFTs. Digital art and collectibles. NFTs have revolutionized the art world, allowing artists to sell and authenticate their digital creation. Gaming. In gaming, NFTs are used to give players true ownership of in-game items and characters that can be traded or sold. Music and entertainment. Musicians and entertainers can use NFTs to sell unique experiences, music albums, and digital memorabilia to fans. Proof of attendance protocol is a specific use case of NFTs designed to prove attendance at events, whether they are physical or virtual. NFTs NFTs are rapidly evolving space and there are many new exciting uses for NFTs. To summarize, NFTs are a groundbreaking concept that has opened new possibilities in the digital world. They completely change how we think about ownership, digital scarcity and the value of unique digital assets. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and stay tuned for another one. Keep and continue learning. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.